It's almost that time of the year and we're going to take a look at how you can create a Christmas card in Canva. So to create a Christmas card, there are several options. You can create a custom size card. So, so you click this one here and then you can give in your own sizes or you can choose a suggested um, card shape. We'll use a suggested one. And then here um, you can use ready-made templates, um, which lets you add a template. And there are free templates. Uh, there are pro templates for which you need pro count. You can search here. And as you can see, I already searched before. Search for Christmas. And then you can see that you get a lot of options here, a lot of pro options, but also quite a lot of free options. And then just look until you find something you want to use and apply it. So when you found something, you click on it. And as you can see, it's automatically added to your project. Now, this is a ready-made template, so you can use it as is, um, but you can also adjust it. So you can move these things around like this. You can delete them if you don't want them to be there. Uh, you can change your font, your text, and the color also. So if you select something and then you click here, you can change the color. And Canva also suggests colors for you, which are are already used inside of the images. And just like that, you can adjust and create something from an ready-made template, but just make it your own a bit more. When you go to elements, you can also add certain elements you want to be added to your postcard. So I'm just going to create something now, add some things, and then we'll check it later. So I added this gift, I just uh, resized it a bit and I want it to be in another position. So to do so, you can go to position on top of here and then you have the arrange option, but you also have the layers option, which I like very much because uh, like that you can see where you're putting your uh, element. And I want it to be behind this one so it looks like it's coming from behind this post stamp. And then I also want to edit it um give it some other color by using a filter and maybe a shadow also and the last thing i want to do is change the background color so select the background then press on top of it here and then just adjust it like you want it to be adjusted um there are lots of things you can do you can flip them and you can also animate things but Depending on what you want to have a digital card or a card you want to print, the animations will not be necessary. So when you have something with which you're happy, um, you can say it's already saved for you. You can also add a page if you want to have a back card option. Um, it automatically takes the same color normally as this one. Now... What you can do here is also add elements and adjust it as you would like it to be. I'm just going to do a couple of things like this. Okay, so that's the option you have by using ready-made templates and adjusting them as you like. And when you're ready and you want to save this, uh, you can press share here. And then you have the download option. And the download option suggests which Canva thinks is best for you, so PNG or JPEG. You can also choose a PDF. If you have animations, you can choose an MP4, um, but PNG for this one would should be okay. And these are all the options you have when you have a pro account, so you cannot use this with a free account. And then you can click download and it will download it for you. But Canva also has the option to print your designs with Canva. Never use it before, but if you click this, you can here see that you can see your front page and your back page and you can choose all these options, the paper type, the paper finish, the corners, um, the amount of cards you would like to have. And then you can continue. You also see the price um, for printing your cards. You even get this nice preview. So all looks nice. Never tried it before, but it's an option that Canva um, provides. Um, but you can also download it and print it yourself. And um, let me see if you go back to create a design and maybe you want a, not a landscape, but 
a portrait version. So five by seven, then I'm going to click create new design. And then here again, you have all these templates that you can use. So again, you can search for Christmas and it will give you templates, which you can adjust if you like, but you can also use elements. Um, so by searching for elements like a Christmas tree or just Christmas in general, then you have these gifts um, and all those things. You can add them to your uh, design. You can also upload your own pictures and add them to Canva. And just like that, you can create your own course with a free Canva account. So just search for what you're liking and then just click it, add it to your cart. Select the background and change the background color if you like to. Something like this. And then just add elements um, to really customize your cart the way you like it. And then you can also add text. Uh, you can choose between a heading or font combinations here if there's something that you like to use. And again, there are pro combinations and just free to use combinations. And then when you're done and you're happy with what you made, you can also, if you're making a digital card, you can add animation. So for example, you select this text and then you can click animate and you can choose what the text will do. Um, Maybe this, and then the Christmas, maybe something else, like that. And you can choose to animate on enter, on exit, or both. There are lots of options. You can even animate these elements. And when you're finished with that and you're happy with your digital cards, you can click share again. And then here in share, you click download. And for this one, you will choose an MP4 because you want your animations to show when you're sending your Christmas card. And then you click download and it will download it for you. Be sure to let me know in the comments below if you like my video. Press the like button if you did. Press the subscribe button if you want to see more of my videos. New videos going live every week. And for now, thank you for watching my video, stay creative, and I hope to see you in the next one.